Hello everyone, in this class we are going to learn how we can configure the DNS in the packet tracer. Ok, so what we are going to learn in this video? In this video we are going to learn how we can configure the DNS lab in Cisco packet tracer. So if you are new to the packet tracer, no need to worry, very soon we are going to have the new packet tracer series 2023. Anyhow we have some old series also, you can see that one till you get the 2023 new packet tracer series. So in this one if you see we have the devices here I will take switch this is a switch you can take the layer 2 switch and after that click here the end devices and take the server I am taking the server I will take two server and I will take one machine and uh, we need to connect this machine so what we will do we will take the cable collect connect we will use the cable click this cable this is automatic cable so cable itself is going to adjust ok so like this way we will connect we connected the device now we need to plan what IP we are going to give this is a small network we can say this is a small scenario in this one we are going to use the 192.168.1.1 or 1.0 network ok so this is a small network in our organization later we are going to increase the devices as our organization grow up now this is a small organization so in this one we are going to set up the DNS server so here let me write here how to configure DNS in Cisco packet tracer ok Cisco packet tracer and also we will uh, use the web server so let me show you that first of all let me give the IP schema so if you see we are going to use 192.168.1.1 I put the label let me assign to the machine how you will assign click this one you will have this types of interface then click the desktop click IP configuration here you need to put the IP if you see this is a IPv4 address press here keep uh, paste here or if you want to type you can type here whatever IP you are planning to use in your network you can write that IP and the automatic gateway will come that is the automatic subnet mask will come if you are doing subnetting you can change this uh, subnet mask but now we are doing a simple lab so no need to change anything just use default one so this we came and here if you see we have the default gateway in this lab we are not using router to go outside so no need to have the default gateway we need DNS so whatever DNS server we are using we need to give that server IP example I will say this is my DNS server ok I will say this is my DNS server so I need to give this IP to my machine saying that one my machine this is a DNS server if you want to get any information from domain to IP IP to domain just go to this server this server is going to do the translation from the IP to domain domain to IP ok this is the DNS server IP what is the role of the DNS DNS server is going to translate from IP to domain or domain to IP example you are typing www.google.com our machine don't know anything google.com they need the IP address so what our request will go to the DNS server DNS server is going to look in his record and he is going to check this google.com is having what IP and he is going to send back to our machine saying that one google.com is having this IP same thing here I am going to use the example this is our DNS IP so whenever we are pinging something or uh, accessing some website our machine is going to send the request to our DNS server saying that one I want to go to website abc.com xyz.com any website.com give me the IP so this machine the DNS server is going to reply to him saying that one this is IP for that one ok anyhow let's see we will do the lab so you will have more idea about this one so this IP I assign here ok and let me go to this server this is a server so this server IP this is a basic thing I will assign the IP here and here DNS IP I will assign because this machine itself is going to use as a DNS so same IP whatever we are assigning here we will assign here also because this server behave as a DNS server and then go to the services in the services you need to check DNS ok this is a DNS and by default the service is off you need to on this one and then write here example I will write ABC ok and then I will write here 
uh, ABC IP address. This is ABC.com. Example, this is ABC.com. So you need to give the IP. So imagine this is ABC.com server. So I will write here one IP 192.168.1.3. Okay, 1.3. So let me assign this IP to this server. Then we will go for DNS. So desktop IP config. Okay, I will uh, give here the DNS. What is the DNS server IP? This is the DNS server IP because this is a DNS server. This is a our server, our server. Maybe this one is a web server, abc.com. Okay, so I assign this IP here. And here, before going to the web services, just go to our DNS server. This is a DNS server. Here we need to map from domain to IP. So I will say if anyone is trying to access ABC, then uh, give them this IP, this one. So I will write here. 192.168.1.3 and then press add so you will have the record saying that one if anyone is requesting abc.com that is nothing but 192.168.1.3 example this machine is saying i want to go to the web server abc.com so this machine don't know what is the ip of abc.com okay let me show you here let me repeat again what i want to say here okay see here this machine someone in this machines typing abc.com so we will have the dns packet it will go here and this because this is a dns server ip in our ip address we have this one in our lan card we assign the dns in dns ip okay dns ip we have so the one packet they will send here so dns is going to reply to him saying that one abc is having the ip address this one 192.168.1.3 then he is going to send the request to this server and this server will load here. We will see no issue. Let me show you. I will show you that one. So the here this way we need to add what I done just write the website name and write the IP and press add. That's all. So let me show you that one. I will go to simulation mode just to show you the packets. I will go to this uh, computer and then web browser click the web browser and here I am going to type ABC okay ABC and I will say go so if you see here I have the packet you can see what is the packet just click this is the DNS packet okay it is having the source IP it is having destination IP because this packet is going to DNS server this packet PDU we are calling this one see here this packet is going to DNS server to get the IP address of ABC okay so you can read also here let me make little big so you can read here this is the OSI model you can see uh, DNS and uh, UDP port number 1024 destination port is 53 and the IP header IP is 192.168.1.1 and the destination IP is 192.168.1.2 because it is going to DNS server first time because you don't know that entry uh, as uh, abc.com this machine don't know so he need to go to the DNS and get the detail what is a uh, abc.com IP this guy is going to reply him then he is going to send the packet here okay if you check here the packet this is IPv4 source IP destination IP source port number destination port number it is a UDP okay and let me make little big this and if I go below here you can see here this is a DNS header okay and here you have the DNS query also and after that if I play this one let me play this will go to the switch switch first time do the broadcast so switch is going to forward all the guys okay but this is not the dns server so he will reject that one this guy will accept and he will reply to that packet okay so if you see inbound means the packet with which go inside this is our packet here arp address resolution protocol so from the arp we are going to get the what we can say mac address over the ip address so now we will learn the MAC address after that we will have here the DNS let me see now DNS packet will go this is a DNS first ARP get that detail 
and now let me see switch is having the detail so this is a dns packet came here okay because switch need the mac address because we are using the ethernet technology so switch what he done and this pc send the r packet r packet come here r packet they do the broadcast then it go here and at last he get the what we can say my mac address of the dns server then he send the ethernet packet and when we open this packet in this one what we have they are getting the dns detail if you go inbound here same thing whatever we discussed before it is having the dns header okay and this is the dns query and the output it will reply the detail see here the detail he is giving that one abc if you see abc what is the ip of abc this is the ip for abc who is replying this one dns server is replying this is a dns server this machine send the request because whenever you are pinging you are pinging or you are accessing any website you will write abc.com xyz.com or google.com our machine don't know what is the ip of that one so what they are going to do they are going to send the dns they are going to send that request to dns but before we don't have the mac address because we are using the ethernet technology so we need the source ip source mac address destination ip destination mac address so arp we use arp is nothing but address resolution protocol what we are going to do with that one arp packet is going to get the mac address over the ip address so he go here and bring the mac address of that one after that our pc send the packet putting the destination mac address destination ip source mac address source ip okay what he sent he sent that i need the ip of the abc so this guy he sent here if you see he is sending here he is asking dns query i need abc ip nothing is written he is asking inbound means the packet go into the server out pdu means the packet coming out so when packet coming out the server this server 1.2 is sending to 1.1 if you see here you can see that one 1.2 source means who is sending destination means where it is going so this server is sending okay because this server ip server is sending to this computer what he is sending he is sending that saying that one if you want to access abc.com that machine is having the ip 192.168.1.3 so with this uh, detail our machine know that this uh, server where i want to go abc that server ip is 192.168.1.3 and he will send the packet there okay let's see now so i will click here switch will take that one then he will send to the pc now our pc is going to send that packet to our server because he know the ip and this one which packet what is the packet of this one this is the packet r packet and let me check okay now it they will do directly okay they are sending directly and if you see here you have the website here you will have the website let me show you i will go to the real mode and now you can go here you you can see we are able to access the website if you want again i will do let me go to the web browser okay and let me type here what is that one abc right abc and i will press here so this website came here okay so what activity is happening here i am saying i am sitting here okay i am saying that one i want to access abc.com so this machine don't know what is the meaning of abc so what he is going to do he is going to check do i have the dns server entry if you go here we have the dns entry here in the ip address here this one so what we will have means our pc will check do i ha do i have the dns server ip if i have i will ask with this dns server i will ask i need to go to abc where he is what is the ip of this guy so he will send that one to dns server dns server will say abc is having the ip 192.168.1.3 then this guy will send here saying that one i need to access that website http or https whatever the services we want to access so this pc is having that services okay 
he will go to web browser and you can type a b c and press here if you see this is a http so you can access the website here i hope it is clear right configuration we are we told configure dns so configuration is very simple we learn so many thing in this one but the main uh, purpose of this video is how we can configure the dns so if you want to configure the dns first you need to assign the ip here then go to the services then go to the dns and here whatever name example i will write here like www.google.com okay and here i will give google ip i can give any ip example i will give 192.168.1.2 i am giving this ip same ip okay this ip and i will say add so when you do like this you this guy will have the record saying that one if anyone want to go to google.com then i need to give this ip okay and if you want to modify any services here example here because we are calling this server as a dns and also google server as per this one so anyone can access this one so what i will do i will go here http i will edit this and there is a predefined code is here i will remove this so easily we can track which website we are using here you can write anything example i will write here h1 i will give h1 tag i will write this is google okay and i will close the h1 tag and then save yes okay now if you type here google.com you will you will access this server okay let me show you let me go to this place i will write here www.google.com okay see this is google so what you have done here let me show you here what i done this is a dns server this is a server i have lot of services so i enable here web services also before just now we use this one this is a abc server if you type here abc you are able to access this server if you type here google server you are able to access this server and if you want to modify you can play with the html code here if you want to modify go to this server okay this is a server go to http and here in index click edit and whatever you want to write here you can write and then save you can press yes so after that that will come here when you are trying to access this one okay so i hope it is clear now main thing what we are saying you need to learn how you can configure the dns so this is an is a dns just write the name of the server ip of the server press add that's all this way we can configure the dns in the cisco packet tracer but we learn lot of thing here here is another server here is another server this server i use for two purpose one for dns server another for http server that is a web server this is i am using as a web server only okay i hope it is clear in case if you face any issue join our telegram channel we are going to share this topology there or write in the comments if you have any question thank you bye